Hospital-acquired infections are an increasing problem worldwide. The bacteria are smarter, they can escape antibiotics, antibiotic therapy is expensive, um, and it's not always effective. I don't understand why this is not sort of hitting the news to a much higher degree. People will catch various types of flus or pneumonia caused by bacteria that we cannot treat with any existing antibiotic. Hospital-acquired infections is the third largest cause of death in the Western world, tracing cardiovascular and cancer. They are basically coming from three areas, from the urinary tract, from the respiratory, and from the bloodstream. Billy Söderwald, he was at an environment fair where he was approached by the hospital sector in the middle of Sweden. They said, we have a huge problem with urinary tract catheters leading to infections. It took almost 20 years until he could realize and see his product coming to life, 1995 in the US. It took many years, many, many experiments. I used to uh, compare with a green pea. They are very small. They are six, seven, eight millimeters in diameter. If you take a pea of that size and you have the mixture with our metals and we spread it out so it covers a full football field, then we have the thickness of our coating. The Bactigard coating is basically five atoms thin. It consists of gold, palladium and silver. And when we put this on the surface, we basically create what we call a battery effect or a galvanic action. Let me explain it this way. When I was a boy, as you did, we take a normal battery, you put the tongue against the battery, it stinks. We basically sting the bacteria, so they don't like to stick to the surface, multiply and create biofilm leading to an infection. That's how we work. Every year we have 400,000 new spinal cord injuries in the world. 30% of these are subject for uh, continuous uh, recurrent UTIs, the urine tract infections. And, and if you have six, seven or eight, nine severe UTIs per year that you need to treat with antibiotics, it's miserable. And one way of, of, of diminishing this or, or uh, lowering the incident would be to use a coated catheter. We have 100,000 patients in clinical trials in countries like United States, United Kingdom, Germany and Sweden. What we have seen over these years and these clinicals is that we are reducing catheter associated urinary tract infection between 50 and 70 percent. Hey, hi there. Good to see you. Come. Good to see you. Let's go. Um, basically what Bactigard has done is to show that uh, their coding technology can work to markedly reduce the incidence of hospital acquired infections in the setting of catheters in the urinary tract. I kind of see my role uh, as helping move this technology from its current uh, platform that's outside of the cardiovascular setting and working with back to guard so that patients with heart disease can benefit from it. Cardiovascular disease is experiencing an exponential rise worldwide. And so I see a particular value of the technology for patients with heart disease, not only in developed nations, uh, but also in developing nations. Um, and the technology is cost effective. And I think that's going to be one of the other key elements here, not only preventing the hospital acquired infections, but doing it in a smarter, more cost effective manner. Put our coating on it. I could see that you, in principle, could coat the whole hospital. I mean, with all things that could be our coating on the floors and walls and the drapes for the surgeons' rooms. When you take Billy's and my own utopia, it's basically take the hospital, dip it into the coating, and bring it up again. Basically, Anything that comes in contact with the human body in a hospital environment should have some kind of preventive technology.